It's Friday, it's Fishy Friday. Welcome fishy friends here at Bart's Fish Tales. And today we're going to make a fresh, juicy, tender piece of cod with a nice crispy crunch, crump on top of it. Serve it with some fennel and slowly cooked tomatoes. So before we start with the seafood hero today, the cod, which we're going to give this nice crunchy layer, we're going to start with the veggies. I'm going to serve some fennel. I love fennel, it has a bit of this NSC taste. And we're going to thinly slice it. I'm going to cut it really thin. I'm using a mandoline. If you don't have a mandoline at home, use your regular knife. Be careful for your fingers. Okay, so this recipe is for two persons, so I'm using one fennel, half a fennel each. I've got a baking tray, an oven tray. Got a bit of olive oil here. Already a bit of salt and pepper on this side. Going to arrange these fennel slices on top of it. it smells fresh, it smells the aniseed, it's so, it's so good. And actually fennel, aniseed in general, goes really well with seafood products. A bit of salt again, drizzle of olive oil, and some black pepper. So I've preheated my oven 180 degrees Celsius, which is around 350 Fahrenheit, and have it in the oven for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I use this layer because this layer I'm going to use for the fish. So crush a bit of garlic here. Okay, so I've got my tomatoes here. I have the garlic here, a bit of olive oil. Drizzle it over the tomatoes. Bit of salt, bit of pepper, and now I give it a hustle. Good. Next one. We're going to the hero. We're going to the seafood hero today, which is the cod. We have beautiful white cod. This is Icelandic cod. If you buy cod, make sure it comes from a sustainable source, MSC certified. Okay. So I start chopping up some parsley leaves. I want to have my crumb a bit rustic, so that's the reason I'm not using a blender. So I add this to the bowl. Next step, finely chop garlic. I'm using one garlic clove. I don't want to have the garlic overwhelming my fish. Nice, freshly chopped. Add it to the bowl. Next one, pistachio. Goes really well with fish also. Nice color and it gives a bit of a crunch to the crust. So unsalted pistachio and I chop these fine. So add this to the bowl. Okay, so we have garlic, we have parsley and we have pistachio. Now we give it a bit of freshness. Lemon. Give it the zest of half a lemon. Now it's time to add a bit of panko. Some salt, black pepper, and now we want to combine all these ingredients and therefore I'm using one egg white. I add it to the bowl. And now I mix this up. Good, so the crepe is ready. So now it's time to dress the fish. And I've got this one cod fillet here. I've got the other one over here. And I have my beautiful mixture over here. So we have it on top of the fish. Make sure that your layer of crumb is like maybe half a centimeter. So the fish is ready. Tomatoes are ready. We're going to add it with the, with the fennel. Beautiful smell already. We're going to add it into the oven. And see here the fennel goes really well. And I've got the tomatoes here. Going to add this as well. Good. Because I want to have these fennel uh, layers really crunchy, nice, uh, but don't too dry. So just keep an eye on them. It, they might be a bit uh, ready a bit earlier. No worries. So time to take everything out. So slowly cooked tomatoes. So now, beautiful. This is the seafood hero. Look at this. Top it off with the oil. Now we're going to plate it up. We start with the fennel. This is really nice. So actually we make like a, a, a nice mirror of, of thinly sliced fennel. Now we have the fish. We have 
with a cut on top of it. Look at this. It looks like a Michelin star restaurant, but it's not. It's like really easy cooking. It's simple cooking. It's respecting the true flavor of seafood. And a few tomato confit right here. A bit of the juice coming out of the tomato, which is olive oil, but it's tomato juice and a bit of the garlic. Scoop it over the venom. And now it's time for the taste. Mm. Wow, it's true, it's this crispy layer. Uh, we have the garlic, really nice. We have the, the freshness of the, the lemon zest and we have the pistachio, the crunchiness and the beautiful flavor of parsley. And then the layer under it um, is juicy, it's tender, it's the fish. And then we have the roasted fennel and the slowly, slowly cooked tomatoes. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon on another Fishy Friday.